Greetings lovelies, welcome back. Today I'll be eating this. So this is the official MRE, uh, which is a meal ready to eat. These are given to soldiers in combat or out in the field. It says on here that these are warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and warfighter approved. You don't need anything in there. Everything you need should be contained in here. Actually, you do need some water for, I think, some of the beverages, but that's about it. My first MRE experience was sent to me by a lovely viewer, but this time I ordered a few of these online. You can just find them on eBay. If you missed my first taste of an MRE, I'll put the link down below so you can find it there. That one, I believe, was chicken noodle flavor. So, here we go. MRE, meatballs and marinara. Peelable seal. I didn't know that before. There we go. So I think that's smart. It's probably so you can reuse the bag for something else. It contains tortillas. This is the awesome flameless ration heater. Here's the hot beverage bag. Here's a little bag of sundries. This one contains Splenda. My last one didn't contain Splenda. Lovely brown spoon. Ooh, cheese spread. It sounds ominous. This is beverage base power and it's tropical punch flavor. Dry roasted peanuts. I've heard of First Strike rations before, but I've yet to taste them. They're another US issued food. Okay, nutritious energy bar. Oh, two boxes. Oh boy. Garlic mashed potatoes. And this must be the meatballs and marinara. Let's look at the flameless ration heater. So this is really amazing. So this has some chemicals inside. <laughs> and you add a little bit of water, just enough water to this double fill line right here. And then you slide your meal in there and it'll warm it up. So for the basic meal, we're just going to open it up, take this out. In this khaki bag, which I can feel the meatballs inside. I bet it's sealed because you don't want to get any humidity in there because then it'll neutralize the reaction. So we'll tear that off there. Fold it. And then slide it back in the bag. And let it heat up. I'm supposed to put out a bit of an incline so I guess it doesn't leak. So while we're waiting, let's try let's try the tortilla along with some cheese spread. This is quite ominous looking as well. Very dense tortilla. <laughs> they look like regular tortillas. The last bread that I had in the other MRE looked terrible. They smell like tortillas. A little bit sour. Tear at the corner. Well, it doesn't really... Oh. Ugh. I've never had tortillas with meatballs and marinara, but it might be interesting. Alright, so I'm going to put some of this... Wow. So there's some of the cheese goop on there. It's pretty thick and very American cheese, orange looking. Looks like processed cheese food. It smells like mac and cheese. The Lucky Malls. Hmm. This just tastes like a regular flour tortilla. It's a little bit stiff and not very tasty, but it is cold. This just tastes like Velveeta, American cheese spread. It tastes kind of like that fake mac and cheese flavor. Not my favorite, but I'm sure it hits the nostalgia button for a lot of people. So, yeah. I think these would be a lot better if they were warm, a little bit more pliant, and um, not so stale tasting. In a previous video, I tasted an Operation Ration Pack, which is the UK version of the MRE, and it's called a Ration Pack or a Rat Pack. And they had a bunch of different beverages, included one called Exotic, and this one's Tropical Punch, which is a flavor that I'm very familiar with, but I don't think any exotic dancers will be popping out of this bag. <laughs> if you missed that video, I'll put the link down below so you can check it out if you're interested. This says, add to half a canteen cup, which it says actually in parentheses is 12 ounces. It smells like Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. It's bright pink in color, and let's pour that in. Yep. So I'm not going to put all of that in there. And stir it with my handy dandy spoon. And look at that color. Wow. So I don't know if this has any electrolytes in it. If it's just Kool-Aid or if it does it have any electrolytes in it. I don't know. Alright, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Hmm. It tastes like Hawaiian Punch. It's actually not too bad. It's a flavor of my childhood. My mother actually never allowed me to drink punch. So I would always love going to my neighbor's house because they always had punch. A little bit like guava. And it's nice and tart, actually. It's not overly sweet. And again, I think you can add more if you want to make it sweeter. But yeah, it's not bad. The color is a little alarming. You know, it's this kind of bright pink color. But the flavor is actually not bad. Let's see what's in here. Here it fizzing. Oh my gosh. Chemicals. All right. And it smells. That's not good. All right. So it includes two pieces of gum, which I've heard may or may not have laxative properties. 
and a package of non-dairy creamer. Mix, instant coffee mix. Better Buds Natural Butter Flavor Granules. I think that must be for the mashed potatoes. Iodized salt. A moist towelette. What I thought was napkins, I've been told, is toilet tissue. Here we go. Yes, it's in a nice square of toilet tissue. But you know, you can use this for anything, right? So that's pretty much the same as the other one. Let's give the peanuts a taste. They're just shrink-wrapped peanuts. Mmm! Salted and roasted. Good. They just taste like airplane peanuts. Not at all surprising. You know, but gives you good nourishment. I want to reserve some of the heat that's in the flameless heater, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up the mashed potatoes as well. Oh, I guess you don't mix up anything. Wow, look at that. Super. So I'm going to take the meatballs out. I'm going to take those out. And then I'm going to add the mashed potatoes. And I learned last time that you rip it all the way across. There's no Tabasco in this one. That's kind of disappointing. But I don't think you really need Tabasco with meatballs. But wow, that looks appetizing. <laughs> all right, so it's steaming. It's quite hot. All right, no pasta, just meatballs. Let's give that a taste. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> it's not bad. The sauce tastes like jarred tomato sauce. And then you have these meatballs inside. The meatballs do have a weird kind of texture, a little bit rubbery and such, but you know, not bad for food that has a super long shelf life. While my mashed potatoes are heating up, let's try our chocolate flavored first strike bar. And this too is terrible, which is great. I love that all the packaging is terrible, that you don't really need a knife. But what's a good soldier without a knife? I guess one that's in trouble. Oh wow, that looks um, a little worrisome. It smells chocolatey, but it has lots of chunks in it. Looks a little unappetizing. actually not bad. It's not overly sweet. It's got little crispy bits in there. It's very, very dense and understandably so. I'm sure this is very calorie dense. And there's a little bit of crispiness in there as well, like rice cereal in there to kind of lighten it up. I think that's actually not too bad. It's certainly easy to eat as well. You could eat it in one hand or on the run. All right, let's see how our mashed potatoes are doing. Our imitation butter powder. And put that in there as well. That smells like a movie popcorn. So let's sprinkle some of that on there. It's like a yellow powder. Interesting. It says all natural. Sure. A little dry looking. Eh. It's okay. <laughs> it's very, very garlicky and it has a bit of a crumbly texture. Certainly not very rich tasting. What I love about mashed potatoes is that it is a rich and milky tasting. And there's something that happens to potatoes especially mashed potatoes, once they've sat around for a while. It has kind of a strange crumbly texture, and the flavor of the potato kind of lessens, and I don't know, it must be something molecular or something that happens. But yeah, the texture is not that great, um, and, and the flavor is very heavily garlic. But out in the field, I'm sure this tastes amazing, especially when it's heated up properly. But certainly not Mama's Thanksgiving mashed potatoes, but I think actually the meatballs taste pretty good. The mashed potatoes are not so great. Um, the First Strike Energy Bar, I like a lot. This is the hot beverage bag, so you can add the water to six ounces and add your instant coffee. But I made that in my first one, so if you want to see that, you can check that out in my first video. So that's it. That's the MRE meal number eight, meatballs and marinara sauce. Let me know in the comments below if you've had one of these before and which one is your favorite, or if there's any other details about these MREs that you want to share with me. I always want to know. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. These are Miss E's favorite. They're called Obleas, and that means wafer, she tells me. So let's give them a taste. Uh, if I can open them. So the caramel sandwich between two very thin wafers. Now, children, never put your head inside a plastic bag.